season, I'm here today to give you a few quick tips about how to schedule your off season off ice training program. When it comes to the off season, it is the absolutely most ideal time to make massive improvements in your off ice physical performance in order to increase your hockey performance when you get back onto the ice in the fall for the in season. So here's some tips for how to structure your off season training program. Because this is a pretty detailed process, I'm just gonna start with the beginning of the, of the off season for now to get you started. And then make sure to tune in over the next few weeks as I continue to progress throughout the off season and help you figure out how to structure your off season program throughout the summer until the fall. First things first, after the hockey season, it really is time to take a true rest. The hockey season is very long and very grueling. It's a very physically demanding sport and we need a couple weeks to reset our bodies and reset our minds in order to prepare ourselves for the work that is gonna come in the next few months before the next season. So maybe you finished your season not too long ago or maybe you're involved in some spring tournaments and events. So once those are over, please, please, please do take a rest for at least one to two weeks. And then from there, we can start our nicely structured off-season training program, which I'll get to next. Okay, so now your rest is over. You rested for one to two weeks, and now it's time to start the program. When starting the program, we have to think about, like I mentioned before, the very physical and very grueling in-season that we had just finished not too long ago. With that being said, it's time to think about our bodies and think about how we can restructure our bodies and our muscles to balance each other out again. Hockey is also a unilateral sport, which means it uses very much so one side of the body at one time. As, a, as an example, I'm a right-handed player, so when I'm shooting and when I'm passing, I'm always pushing with my right and pulling with my left, right? So that's that unilateral movement that we are creating imbalances throughout the season the whole time as, as we play over those six, seven, eight months. So now it's time to restructure our bodies. And how we do that is we do one arm or one leg movement. So you can do a squat variation where you're gonna do a one, where you're gonna do a split squat. So you stand with one foot in front of the other and go down, it's kind of like a lunge movement, except for you're standing in place. You're not stepping forward, you're just going up and down. So that's an example of a unilateral movement that you can use during this part of your off season, right in the beginning, to even out the muscles in your body. Another example of a unilateral exercise is if you were to use a dumbbell and do a one arm dumbbell dun uh, bench press. So you're on the bench and you're pushing up with one arm with the dumbbell for maybe 12 reps and then you switch arms and you push with the other arm for 12 reps. We wanna even out our muscles and we wanna even out our imbalances. At the same time, during this phase, it's a perfect time to get over any injuries that were nagging throughout the season that you weren't able to get over because you have too much competition and you don't wanna miss a game. This is the time to do that. So we're, we are recovering from injuries and we are rebalancing our body, our muscles, and the structure. That's our first phase.